Good morning, scholars and stuff. Welcome to MB News. I am your host, Sebastian, and these are my co-hosts. Roger. And Victor. Last week, we had a book exchange which was organized by Ms. Fraga. I got to participate in the book exchange. I brought three of my baby books that I don't read anymore and got to exchange them for new books. Now let's see why Ms. Fraga organized the book exchange. Just wanted to say and talk a little bit regarding the book, the use and reuse uh, book uh, fair that we did. I wanted to explain the reason why it was so important for me to do this event. There, We have a lot of kids uh, who love to read and some that just don't know how to start the reading. We have a lot of books at home that unfortunately once we use them, we just throw them in a shelf and we don't use anymore. So I just wanted to give an opportunity to every student here to be able to bring a book, donate a book, exchange it for another one. So it was almost like a book fair, but with used books and the kids absolutely loved it. It was such a great experience. They had fun. It was almost like buying a new book and it was just great seeing all the kids participate and enjoy reading. Believe it or not, we have over a hundred students here that have never been able to own a book. So it was really great um, that kids were able to donate other books so other students were able to take a, a book for the first time. Now moving on to Rogelio. Thank you, Sebastian. Monday, March 2nd was Read Across America Day. We celebrated by reading all across the country. We had many people from the community take time from their busy schedule to come to our school and read to us. I want to take this moment to acknowledge everyone that came to our school. Board member Mr. Acampo and his wife, Maria Fraga, Irma Lopez, Dr. Hernandez, Amor Garcia Barrera, Interim Superintendent Mr. Koenig, Ms. Rodriguez, Alicia Gregory, Leticia Maravilla, Maria Alicia, Miss Pink, Nora, Mr. Andrade, Ellen Ferguson, Cesar Frias, board member Mr. Mercado. We also had Judy and Steve join us from the Rotary Club. I want to give a huge thanks to Claudia Melendez for visiting our class. Here's an exclusive interview with Miss Melendez. Today is Read Across America, and today I have a special guest with me, the one and only Claudia Melendez. So, Claudia, what inspired you to make books? Um, I wrote one book that has been published, actually, is the third book that I'm working on, that I worked on. The book that was published is called A Fighting Chance, and I was inspired to write it because there was some budget cuts happening in the city of Salinas at the time that were going to be affecting the community rooms for for young people. And I felt that the, uh, the voices of young people were not being heard because they were going to be the most affected by these cuts. So I decided to write from the perspective of a young man who's trying to become a prize fighter. He's training to be a champion boxer, but the only space he had to train was the space that the city wanted to close down or remove that program from that space. And I thought that would be a good way to show in depth what's happening in this city that you cannot do through a small newspaper report because I was a newspaper reporter at the time. Um, what made you come to our class today? Well, Ms. Moni is a great teacher who's always inviting me and always showing the great work that you guys are doing through your newscast. And I thought, and she invited me, I was like, yeah, I'll go. So anytime a good teacher asks me to come to their classes, I'll just go. Okay. Well, thank you for coming today. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you to the volunteers. You made a difference and reached out to many kids. Now moving on to Victor. Thank you, Rogelio. On Wednesday, March 11th at 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. is Family Reading Night. The theme is Pixar all around the world. Students can visit the countries their favorite Pixar movies are based on. Some examples are Mulan taking place in China, Coco in Mexico, and Ratatouille in Paris. There will be fun activities, games, and a raffle. I hope to see you there. Now moving on to Genesis with the Film Festival. Thank you, Victor. LSL teachers, it's not too late to enter your students in the MBQ Student Powered Film Festival. This is the third annual film festival, and the theme is Earth Day, focusing on conservation, environmental education, and protection. I am planning on entering the film festival and I will be talking about air pollution and how many kids in the world are dying due to air pollution or if the fact that they are dying is due to money. Teachers, great news, it's not too late to enter your students because, because the deadline has been extended to March 13. Any student from kindergarten to 12th grade may enter. There is a total of $750 cash grant and other prizes. For, for more information, please visit www 
www.mbq.com. Now moving on to Maria. Thank you, Genesis. Third grade had a field trip to Disney on nights. They had lots of fun. First day, they had to buy stuff like food or toys. The best part of fall is that they let the kids eat while they performed. Next, they saw many Disney characters, but also they saw fireworks and many other things. And many kids had fun on the field trip. Now let's interview some kids that went to a field trip. My name is Jolien Pichardo, and I'm in Mr. Guedes' class. I enjoyed it. It was super good. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was the Toy Story when, like, we like, like they threw a ball um to like, to um the audience, and then they had to try to get it back into the arena. My name is Julia, and I'm Mr. Guedes' class. Did you like to go on the Disney on Ice trip? I liked it very much. What was your favorite part of the Disney on Ice trip? when all the characters were skating. Hi, my name is Arely Martinez, and I'm in Ms. Morgado's class. My favorite part of the Disney on Ice performance was when I got to hang out with my friends, and we watched the skaters skate, and we watched characters from movies. I'm in Ms. Morgado's classroom, and my name is Ricardo. My favorite part of the Disney on Ice performance was uh, the skaters kept kept doing tricks. All the tricks were very awesome. What did you do at the Disney on Ice? I sat down with my friends and I ate popcorn and and candy. Now, mo now moving on to Spani Noticias. Gracias, Maria. La Comisión de la Fresa de California está aceptando solic solicitudes para becas universitarias. Niños que tienen padres que trabajan en los campos de fresa pueden obtener becas. Para obtener las becas necesitan que trabajar dos años en la fresa. Según la Comisión de Fresas de California, el programa de beca ha dado más de 2.6 millones de dólares a cientos de estudiantes. El dinero de la beca se puede usar para matrícula, alojamiento y comida, libros de textos y otros. Esto es muy bueno porque al fin están reconociendo a esta gente que este trabajo es muy difícil de hacer y por fin sus hijos pueden obtener algo bueno en su vida. Thank you, Alyssa. There was a Super Bowl not too long ago, and many food was wasted. Luckily, to the Hard Rock Stadium, there was 30,000 pounds of leftover food and donated to charity, and they helped people in need. Thanks to the Hard Rock Stadium, they helped a lot of families indeed. Now moving on to Daylene with local news. Thank you, Andrew. As you may have heard of the father-daughter dance that is coming up, there are some people that don't have a dance. An eight-year-old girl named Avery that lives in Arkansas always wanted to attend the dance, but couldn't because her father passed away. But the officer, Mick Harvey, heard about this and decided to take Avery to the dance. They had an amazing time at the dance. Harvey is looking forward to taking Avery, Avery again every year. Thank you for tuning in to MB News. Remember to like and subscribe, and like we say every single day, Go Scholars! Thank you for coming today. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know. I got to participate in the book exchange. 2.6 million a 100. Ah, can I start again? Oh, what did I say again? 